Hi, YouTube followers. It's another episode of Workplace Wednesday. I'm Miss Patty, your host from Four Year CNA. And today I have Callie with me, and she's here to talk to you about working in a, a telemetry unit of a hospital and what her job entails. Thanks for joining me today, Callie. Thanks for having me. So let's start off with, off with some basics first. When did you become a CNA? I actually became a CNA here in 2013. I took the classes here and I went and took my CNA license test for the state and then I got it first time, so I was very happy with that. Oh, wow. That's always a, a win yeah. <laughs> when you pass it on the first try. So, wow, that was a while ago. Where did you first start work as a CNA once you got licensed? I started working at an assisted living facility. Um, and it kind of jumped me into the CNA business quite slowly. So that was nice because I'm the kind of person who doesn't, I like to plan everything out according. So the assisted living facility really worked for me. I got to work with dementia patients, which was like my first time dealing with that. So it was, it was kind of good, actually. I liked it a lot. It's good to get your feet wet in a, a little bit slower pace where, you know, you don't have a lot of people breathing down your neck. Yeah, exactly. So I really liked that. I enjoyed it a lot. And where did you go from there? Um, after that, I ended up getting a job at a hospital, um, and I started working in a progressive care unit, and I worked there for three and a half years. So, so where are you now? Now I'm actually in a telemetry unit, which is even more interesting because you deal with a lot more. Okay. So can you explain to us, for our viewers that don't know what telemetry is, what does that mean? Telemetry is... Um, it's a very general unit, but they deal a lot with the heart as well because telemetry is a cardiac monitor. So you have um, patients there who have this monitor on. So this way, the, there's a telemetry monitor tech who sits there and looks at their heart and their heart rhythm and the rate and makes sure that they're still doing okay. Okay, so a lot of cardiac knowledge would go into working in that. Oh yes, in that unit. Did you have to have any special training to work in this unit? Um, yes and no. You have to have the knowledge behind it. Um, I, when I started working in telemetry, I'd already worked in the progressive care unit and I had already taken some monitor classes. So I had the basic knowledge of rate and rhythm down. So, um, your heart produces a rhythm and you can see that on the screen. And when you look at the screen, you can decide what it is, um, determined by the P, Q, R, S, T, U waves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know it gets a little complex. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, it gets so. a little complex. So you were able to take that knowledge that you had gained in the PCU department and use it in this current position in telemetry. Oh yes, and not only that, but once I started working in telemetry, they actually expanded my knowledge more. So now instead of everything that you learn in schooling for CNA, you use that on a daily basis. But once you're in the actual work setting and especially in the telemetry unit, I started learning how to take IVs out and I started learning how to take folates out. And you just, you, you start expanding your knowledge as you're at the workplace. They start to teach you more and more and more and more. So not only are you expanding your skills, but you're also expanding your knowledge too. Because when I started working there, I started working in a hospital generally, I didn't really know a whole lot, such as like the IVs and um, Foley catheters, because I didn't see a whole lot of that in the assisted living facility. Right. But as you're more into the hospital, it's you also learn a lot more too. And especially if you have some really great nurses, which I really haven't met a bad one, they'll sit there and they'll talk to you and they'll explain it to you. Like, okay, you can do this with so-and-so, be careful with this and watch out for this, and this is why. So they give you the reasoning behind it, which, like I said, it expands your knowledge. Sure, absolutely, and always take advantage of any opportunities you oh, have yes. to expand your knowledge base. Oh, yes. So what are some unique challenges that you have found working in a telemetry unit? Um, some of the challenges I've seen is it's you're, you're on your feet. You're on your feet a lot. So if, if you're sick, like, take a rest, stay home. You do not want to bring that there. But when you're moving and you're going, you're going to be on your feet. You're going to be on your feet, and then you're going to get your break. And then you're going to be on your feet again. It's a very, it's a very demanding job, but at the same time, it's worth it. Because you next thing you know, your 12 hours is over with, and you're like, wow. And then you, at the end, you kind of realize you impacted a lot of people. Yeah. So that's, that's, the, that's the best part about being a CNA. 
What I think is interesting about working in telemetry is that even though these are cardiac patients and they're all on cardiac monitors, they may not be there for a cardiac reason. Yes. They might be there because their diabetes is out of whack and that's what they're trying to get treated. But because they have that cardiac history, they've got to be monitored while they're receiving other treatments. So yes. it really makes you very well-rounded as a CNA because you're not just dealing with one type of patient. You're dealing with a lot of different types of diseases that all have this one thing in common. So that's what I found really interesting about working in telemetry. Oh, yes. You you definitely do have a wider range. Like, I could have somebody who is post-surgical or, you know, just came out of the intensive care unit and is doing a lot better now. And that, like I said, that's the amazing part is you have a very wide range, but it's just... I, I don't even know how to explain it. It's a, once you get there and you see it, you, you know it and you love it. Awesome. That's, that's an awesome way to put it. So um, what are some, take me through kind of a, a day routine. So what, what are kind of some of the skills that you would find yourself doing um, as a CNA in a telemetry unit? Oh, okay. So um, my first thing is when I first get there in the morning, I, well, I drink my coffee. I always have to drink my coffee. <laughs> You're running all day. <laughs> yes. But, you know, you get your port from uh, the previous shift, and then you go ahead and you start checking on all your patients. So my main priority is to make sure to check on my diabetic patients because first thing in the morning, they're going to eat breakfast. So you go ahead and you check your diabetic patients. After that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to start doing their vital signs on all the patients, too, because that is very important in the hospital, especially when they're getting medications. So you need to make sure that you have these vital signs done before the specific time. And then afterwards, you're going to pass out breakfast, help, help assist baby people if they need help. And that is a major thing a lot of people don't realize, is you don't know if someone needs help or not. So you need to make sure that you're watching your patient and seeing, making sure that they're able to feed themselves. Next is bathroom. Most important thing. Everybody has to go to the bathroom. Yes. So <laughs> you need to make sure that you have everything ready for you for the day. So if I know a patient has to use a bedpan, I make sure that there's a clean bedpan in the room. Bedside commode, same thing. And bathroom, make sure that the hallways are clear so this way they can go to the bathroom. And I assist a lot of patients with that. And, you know, another thing is, too, a lot of people like to take baths in the morning. So mm -hmm. getting them up and getting them ready for their day, and it, it, it makes a difference. So, you know, you get oh, them up yeah. and they take a bath and then you got to change change the bed sheets. They'll usually just sit there in their recliner and they'll start, you know, washing themselves down. And then occasionally you'll have a patient who can't. So you, you have to help them. And like I said, I cannot tell you how many times I've seen a patient go, wow, thank you so much. I feel a lot better. And it really brightens their day. Absolutely. Just being clean and taking care of basic hygiene needs, even if you don't feel well, those kinds of things still make you feel a little bit better. Oh, yes. So it's little ways of brightening somebody's day, just mm -hmm. these little things that we kind of take for granted ourselves. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm really grateful for CNAs to be the ones there to help with, with those types of uh, care. Um, so I understand you're also in nursing school. Yes. So congratulations on that. Thank That's you. awesome. Any idea of what type of nursing you're drawn toward? Um, yes, I am definitely drawn towards more of the critical aspect. Um, that's where I kind of started when I started working in a hospital. So I do know quite a bit when it comes to that. So, and it's interesting, like I said, to see like all the different medications and their interactions and making sure that the patient gets better, making sure that they get out of that critical point is the main focus. And that's what I like because then you can go ahead and you can, you can save someone's life with that, which sure. is amazing. Absolutely. It, it gives you, um, it's definitely good to go home at the end of the day, knowing that you impacted somebody's life in a very big way. Oh. So nothing like nursing. Oh, I know. <laughs> Absolutely. So it sounds to me like you really enjoy your time in telly. And what advice would you give somebody that's looking to maybe expand their own career option into a telemetry unit? I would tell them to do it because like I said, it, it gives you this great jump start, especially into the hospital. And you learn a lot because you have this wide range of patients that you can take care of. And it's just you can get a lot of background knowledge, especially when it comes to being a CNA. Having that knowledge and having that how-to and why, it 
it really helps you it helps the patient and not only that but you're there also helping the nurses as well so sure. having that it it benefits everybody in the end well thank you for coming and joining us today Callie we really appreciate you taking the time to tell us about your work environment in the telemetry unit and we wish you well in nursing school thank you so much well thank you for joining us for this episode of workplace Wednesday where we discuss work in a tele environment. If you have similar experiences in the telemetry unit, feel free to leave a comment below and let us know what your experiences have been or if you have questions about this setting. Head over to our webpage where you can find information and links to all of the topics that we discuss here and always like and subscribe our channel and hit the bell for future notifications. Until next time, happy nursing.